Hey guys, Stinger 30 here. Um, I've managed to um, acquire a new roll cage for my Erevo. It's a very sexy looking chrome one. I wish it had been black like I ordered, but beggars can't be choosers. Anyhow, this roll cage, I'm very, very impressed with how sturdy and how solid this roll cage is. If you have a very good look at this roll cage, Looks like something from straight out of a NASCAR or a Speedway car or something like that. It's very, very tough. It's actually a steel, steel rod. It's around about 3.5 to 4 millimeters thick. I haven't measured it yet with a vernier, but that's what it looks like, about 3 to 4 mil. It's um, extremely strong. Um, if you put this roll cage down on the floor, um, each of these corners here touch quite nicely there's no no wobble it's just absolutely rock solid I'll tell you how rock solid this thing is I um, I weigh about 85 kilos and when I got this thing out of the box I put the thing down on the floor and I put my foot straight across here like this and I lifted my other leg up off the floor and I put my entire weight on this roll cage the roll cage did not flex bend nothing. I was I was very very impressed. Another thing that I'm impressed of about this roll cage is the um, is the welds on this roll cage. Um, I'll just you probably hear me unscrewing my lenses at the moment. I'm just going to swap some lenses around and I'm going to attach my my zoom lens. If you just bear with me for a sec I'll just attach my my zoom lens on the front of my camera. Yeah, it'll bring this thing in so I can show you guys some of the, the welds. Here we go. This is some of the welding that's actually been done on this roll cage. You'll actually see they've done a very, very good job. It's um, I'm very impressed with the welding on this roll cage. Another thing I, I, am, I am impressed with on this roll cage is how it actually attaches to the back of the Erevo. It's actually a pretty smart design. Um, we have a look inside here. There's actually um, there's a metal plate, two metal plates. There's, you can sort of just see one in here where my finger is. That bit of silver just in there, and there's another one across here. And there's actually there's two little screws, one there, one there screwed together. It actually holds it on the back of the Erevo. That is a very very smart idea. Unfortunately, I have a bit of a gripe, and my gripe is down the front. Because this is how it attaches down the front of my Erevo. It attaches underneath the body clips, or the um, the body match, I should say. It's held in place for that, and there's just the same thing again. These two metal bars. One of these metal bars actually comes off, uh, and, and actually you can see it here. There's a bit of a, a grub screw. It comes straight through here. There's the other the other side of the screw. And there, there's one there, and there's one down over here. I think that this is a and going to be an issue because I can I honestly think that these bits of nylon here are going to smash off. However, I actually quite look the right the like of the looks of my truck without the body on there. So I'm going to continue to run this thing without the body on here. But what I'm going to do in the front, I might attach a few extra. I might just go nuts with a few zip ties and and help zip tie the front end down. And hold the thing in a place because I honestly don't think it's going to last long before I completely smash these fellas here out together. I mean, it doesn't bother me, I've got some spares, but that's um, that's beside the point. I think I'd feel a bit more happy with some couple extra zip ties. I might wrap some zip ties around and help try and hold it all together a bit more strongly. But the back, I'm actually quite impressed with the back. The back is actually very, very strong. So, But the entire cage itself, I'm stunned. As I said, I weigh about 85 kilos. And it, it carried my entire weight and never bickled, buckled, flexed, nothing. So I think this is going to be a pretty good um, pretty good little roll cage. I will do an update on this in probably a month or two time after I do some more run, running around with it and um, see how the thing goes. I actually ordered a black one. I don't know why they sent me a silver one. Maybe that was the only one they had in stock. But anyhow, not to complain. It's arrived and it's extremely strong and I'm extremely impressed, especially for the money. Delivered to my door, 
been a hundred bucks. So, anyhow, cheers, guys.